Welcome to the Gentleman's Guide to Gaming and episode 4 of Pilot Season. Very thundery on that defunct studio's aisle. And I used to be a moderator on the Black Isle forums. That's what time. Oh my god, it's hideous! No, no, it's just Wizards of the Coast. Yes, that must mean we are playing a Dungeons and Dragons based game. And if you guessed that, you are correct. We're playing Icewind Dale 2. Not Icewind Dale 1, because I prefer Icewind Dale 2. It has 3.5 rules, a better story, much more choice when it comes to race and classes and so on. I must. And oh, I don't want to interrupt the narrator. Examine the reasons I left the comfort of Kaldahar for a journey to Deepingdale. Well, Kaldahar is, is damn cold. It is much like the assignments given to me by Uncle Oswald and Isolor himself. Isolor? When Isolor left those lands near the inner sea for the spine of the world, he told his fellow druids he would send a student to replace him. This I told myself was why I left. But now, as I sit by the warmth of a fire in Mirabar, I realize what Isalore must have already known. I remember the details vividly. It started many years ago. It started with a key. The year was 1310 Dale Reckoning. And it was a dark and When scouts night. from Burn Shander, the largest of the Where ten towns, women blow a first men reported sighting goblin warbands. Within weeks, They're the, worst the kind river of, goblin of goblins had flowed forth from the spine of the world, and above that wave of death, Sailed a banner bearing the monstrous heads of the Chimera. Ah. The militiamen of the Ten Towns would have been the Dale's only defense had the forces of fate been against. Except they not, have no proper fighter classes. But that was the problem. Ulrich Dinsmore, the mayor of the town of Tagos, urged the council to send a messenger south Just to the one. port cities of Laskan and oh, there he goes. Well, you're not going to get much help from Luskin. Luskin had problems of her own. No, so I chose the lich, the Russian. The captains of Luskin devised a simple plan. Indeed, this game is set in the Forgotten the city, Realms, and it is a very good setting for Dungeons and Dragons, and I will admit. With lean work in the northern port city, many mercenaries and thugs were lured to the ships that would take them even further north. Hello, 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 hello. Riches, wealth, gold, so as much as you can eat. And so crept through the sea of moving ice and on to the Shangarn River. They bragged of the deeds they would perform and the castles they would purchase. Lost in their reverie, they were blind ah, to the thrones of goblins and orcs that lay in wait. Only a few ships survived the assault. Those that continued up the river watched as the town of Bremen burned. Bremen? One of the ten towns had already fallen. Many wondered, as I often wonder, what difference only a few can make. Especially a few so like many, the characters I will be in playing. The midst of such terrible circumstances. Now you will find that the characters in this game that I'm playing aren't too dissimilar to the characters I'm playing from XCOM. Or indeed other Let's Plays. Now why would that be? Well you see, I've already done a bit of prep work on this game. I don't mean I've created the characters already, but I have anticipated, because I have played games like Baldur's Gate before, I know you can import portraits, and while I'd love to play one of these A Song of Ice and Fire types, I'm going to go for Andrew Ryan as our party leader. Given, of course, that he is a perfect leader, he's definitely human, and class, I think, would be Sorcerer. And at this stage in the game, true neutral, I think. He hasn't quite lost his mind yet. Strength and Constitution. I would imagine his Constitution would be quite low. He does live at the bottom of the ocean. But he does have a decent golf swing. Yeah, maybe. And I think we'll put his Intelligence and Wisdom up like that. Okay, and now Skills. We will... Half concentration, diplomacy, that all makes sense. I think we'll put a bit more in Knowledge Arcana, or Knowledge Arcana, depending on your preference, and maybe a bit more in Spellcraft? No, you know what? I think it's more likely he would be able to bluff people into doing what he wanted. And um, what else? Courteous Majocracy, I like the sound of that. Plus two on Diplomacy and Spellcraft checks, works for me. And I'm specifically looking for Iron Will, plus two bonus to all Will saving throws. Now, I love Chromatic Orb, it's my favourite spell, it was never 
carried over to uh, 3.5, but uh, has for some reason appeared in this 3.5 edition game. And I'm guessing that's, yep, Charm Person. That suits Andrew Ryan down to a T. And to be honest, he doesn't really need to change his clothing. Here I come. That doesn't sound like it. Gods grant me strength. All that. You'll soon sleep with the dead. What about the sorcerer? I'll bathe in the blood no. To the pain. No. Ha -ha! No. Watch your Definitely back. not. It is a shame that Almost you certainly come not. then. That'll work. Okay, so our first party member is Andrew Bloody Roy and the King of Rapture. And who comes next? Well, who else has appeared in a Let's Play that I've done? Well, we do, of course, have Flash Gordon. Flash Gordon, hmm, he's tempted. I think we're going to make him an Asimar, you know? We'll make him an Asimar and a Paladin uh, at that. Now, he's not the sort of Paladin that would go around <laughs> suffering for his art. He's not the sort of pa Paladin that would ever multiclass into a wizard. That's not really Flash Gordon's way. But Paladin of Helm, now that works. Can multiclass to a fighter if he needs to. Abilities. Again, I think we're going to have to bump the charisma up. Well, not necessarily as high as uh, that of Andrew Bleen Royan. Uh, oh, that's actually a fairly decent spread of skills, but to be, of uh, attributes rather, or abilities as they're called in this game. But you know what? We need a bit more. Hmm, what does Charisma govern on a Paladin? It's um, uh, it's apparently helpful for turning undead. So, do Paladins really need wisdom? Yes, apparently they do. Well, what I think, I think Flash Gordon, I think that's a, actually a pretty decent spread for Flash Gordon, but I see him as more of a martial Paladin. So, but then again, he is quite charismatic. No, no, you know what? He is an American footballer, first and foremost, in the 1980 version of the movie. Oh, Flash Gordon, rather. So, strength, yep, yeah, that, that's, a, that's a decent look, I think, for Flash. Now, what stats shall we bump up for him? Well, I think we'll stick with concentration and diplomacy, then. That works. Ball-headed. Human or Dwarf, plus one on Will and plus two versus Intimidate. Uh, I'm not sure about that. Heroic Inspiration, now that sounds good. He is, after all, Flash Gordon. We need to customise him a bit, but I don't think that should be too hard. There we go. I think that's our Flash. We need a uh, Heroic. Will soon sleep with not that guy. Me strength. No, that's not really very heroic either. Steal yourselves! Mm, uh, definitely not Flash Gordon. Attack! That would have been Brian Looks Blessed like had we had him. Go on a killing spree. I'll bathe in the blood of my enemy. God grant me. We'll strength. go for that for Flash Gordon then. So we also have Flash Gordon from XCOM: Terror from the Deep. So we've got Andrew. We have Flash. Who comes next? Well, it can only be one person, and that would be John Luck. Where we can't have John, we, you know, we can't have Flash without John as well. Now, I think John should possibly be. Well, that's a difficult one, isn't it? What does John Locke most closely. He's a half orc, that's definite, look at him. But I'm thinking maybe a druid. He did love that island. A druid of lawful neutral alignment. Abilities, of course, he does have the things, well, he does suffer somewhat for being a half-orc, but he does get the extra strength to go with it. We may well think of multi-classing him at some point, but in the meantime, he needs the wisdom, I think. Yep, he needs wisdom, so we will bump this down slightly, and bump that up. There we go. And there is our John Locke. He needs animal empathy, like a hole in the head. He needs wilderness lore as well. And spellcraft. Ooh, ooh, this is difficult. And what what can we give John Locke though? Hmm. What do what do you see John Locke as? Having plus two on wilderness law not really. I see him not really being able to resist poison either. I don't think that's terribly John Locke-like. Strong back. That makes sense. He did do a lot of hiking across the island. So what spell should we give him? Summon Nature's Ally. That sounds good. 
and entangle. Yeah, I, I have no doubt that there will be a lot of uh, cure light wound scrolls. Now we can't make him bald, but we can colour his hair in the same colour as his skin. I think that kind of works. Um, that's about the best we're going to get. And generally, or despite that illustration, John Locke does wear a kind of greenish top. We'll go for that, I think, and we will go for brown. Oh, actually, that's, that's a good look on him. We'll, we'll go for that. And today is a good day to die. Well, it doesn't really matter. We'll be voicing him for the most part. So, there we go. John Locke. John Locke is finished. There we go. We've got our dream team coming together now. But who comes next? It's got to be Poppy the Wood Elf. Poppy Elk Protector from Skyrim, who is, of course, a wild elf. Favourite class Sorcerer? Hmm, I'm not thinking that. I'm thinking that Poppy would either make a good rogue or a good ranger. Now, let's go for a good ranger, I think. I think we'll be a ranger and maybe multi-class later on down the line. But he's definitely chaotic neutral. So, we need to put some of your points into Wisdom, Poppy. Uh, some more into Charisma, as much as you aren't that charismatic. Uh, bump up your deck. See, we need you to put, be able to pull back the string of a bow as well. And apparently your intelligence isn't particularly high, but judging by the way I play him, I would say that's accurate. We also need to give him Animal Empathy. More animal empathy than perhaps John Locke has, but you do have more interesting skills as well. Hmm. We'll, we'll, we'll go for that spread for now. And where was it? Was it Forrester? Where, where are some other basic... Yeah, Forrester would probably work. Plus two, but save on Wilderness Law checks. Favoured enemy, got to be the trolls. Got to be the trolls. Although he doesn't really like giants either. Elk don't really come up. And anyway, they would be his, you know, his favoured friend. So looking at all of these, I would say that in Skyrim, Poppy has killed possibly more trolls than any of the other things. I don't know, it's difficult to say. Hair colour, though, got to be white, or the closest we can get to it. And skin colour, more like that, I'd say. Now let's go for Poppy the White. As in, in his chef's garb. And we'll give him a drow voice, I don't care what it sounds like. So, Poppy, as Saudi Lindsay recently posted... No, 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 that's not it. Poppy the Elk Avenger. Damn. We'll just call him Poppy Elk Avenger. Because he doesn't really protect them. He avenges them. So there you go. We have Poppy Elk Avenger as well. There's only two spaces left in our crew. Will we manage to fit them in? Well, we've got Ted from I Have No Mouth and I Must Scream. Do you remember him? Do you? What does... Ted most closely resemble? Well, well, let's think. We have two fighter type classes. Well, no, in terms of a race, I would put Ted in the realms of, let's be honest, he's human. He's human and... Mm, no, we'll just go for straight human. But for class, we do have a paladin. We've got a paladin and a ranger. We've got a sorcerer and... You know what, I've already forgotten. We've got a paladin, a ranger, a sorcerer, and a druid. And that's I think a cleric of the self. Can you just be a straight cleric? No, okay. Mask is the god of thieves and shadows. I don't think that's necessarily true. He terrorises people. I don't think he'd terrorise anyone. He's, he would definitely wouldn't be a battle guard. Dreadmaster of Bane. They're known for their manipulative scheming and malicious attitude. You know what? You know what? Ted was malicious and manipulative. Well, you know, it was either that or Morning Lord of Lathander. And to be quite honest, I see... Hmm. No, I see him more as a Dreadmaster of Bane. Lawful evil. Actually, no, 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 you know what? Neutral evil. What shall we 
Well, apparently this this means he should have some wisdom. And that we should probably give him some constitution and some strength as well. Intelligence is always useful as well for skill points. But I think that's a decent spread, don't you? Now, in terms of skills, we will bump up the ones that... There we go. That will do it. And what... Extra turning could be good. He did endure 104 years, or however many it was, of torture from Am. So I think that works. We will also give him... Let's think. Snake blood. That works. Yeah, he's a snake. The man's a snake. Spells left. Alright, so at the start of the day, Cure Light Wounds will probably come in handy. What's this? Magic Stone? No. Inflict Light Wounds? Nah. Command. Oh, well, I think we should go for one called Bane, given that we are a Dread Master of Bane. And our domain spell, Command or Bane, we're going to go for... We'll go for Command. And we don't need to do much with this guy either in terms of his looks. Uh, he does, should have a fake tan and he needs a turtle neck sweater. Uh, that's more like that colour maybe? Yeah, yeah, I'd say so. Oh no, no, that's not it. Okay, and I believe he used to wear black trousers. And that's about as black as we can get. Apparently there's no voice for Penelope's estate in the Hamptons. I'll take care of it. That works though. So we have Ted, Ted, as he is known in I Have No Mouth and I Must Scream. This gives us one more character. Now, who could that be? Who else have I had encounters with? This bastard. This bastard right here from Train Driving Simulator, the circle line. And even th this guy mocks me by having a door operation written across his back. Now, I despise this man. I think in that for that reason he has got to be a halfling. A halfling, and as we are lacking in rogues... Uh, he is a bit of a rogue. He breaks into trains, drives them the wrong way down the track. That works. Chaotic evil without shadow of a doubt. Abilities will bump your dexterity up to 20. No, no, that's an excess, isn't it? We will bump that up. And you can get all your skill points like thus. Oh, what else is useful? Wisdom is pretty good, but I don't think it's. Uh, see, look at look at us power gaming here. All right, that'll do. That'll do. Now look at all those skill points. Somehow he bluffed his way into con well convincing people that he could drive a train. I think that's pretty impressive on its own. All right, now we need to start deducting things. Uh, search, and use magic device. Okay, and the one feat that you get, Ted... No, I don't think that's going to have much use, but we what we could give him is... If we, if we give him a crossbow, he's not Ted anyway, he's train driver, we will reduce the to hit penalty. Oh no, rapid shot, I like that. Oh, how best to... Well, he wears a sort of a blue... Blue hair, why not? Blue hair, blue skin. He's a Darrow. In fact, that's even weirder. And I don't know. I don't really care what he sounds like, to be quite honest. We will give him... The silent blade cuts best. Train driver. Okay, now that all that hullabaloo is out of the way and we have our party... We may begin. Gosh, I'm sorry for the amount of time it took to create characters. Uncle Oswald. And it takes Mary a lot Walden longer to create characters though. Sunsets that day. So many ships coming up the Shane Warren had been set aflame by the goblin hordes that they burned to the waterline in a row like a flock of fiery geese. Have you ever seen a flock of Some fiery geese? Some leapt overboard and tried to swim to shore, only to be cut down by orcs when they arrived. Others clung to the hulking infernos 
and were inevitably consumed in the flames. The rest dropped into the icy deep, snowflakes off Death's shoulders as he shrugged over the dale. So many had died already in the attacks that the failure of the Luscan forces to arrive was but a sigh, a comma in what was to be a rather long story. I'm not feeling particularly Only hopeful for my men. Ships made it through to Targos, and you know what will happen? Should my, these characters die rather than going through, through the rigmarole of buying a raised dead spell, what I'm actually going to do is import a new court. character. And that character may be someone else from a Let's Play. It may well be someone else from the YouTube Targos, RPG Brigade. That is, within. if this game gets it picked. Because if it doesn't, well, we, we don't need to worry about it, do we? From Captain Hedron's ship. The Wicked Wench. Like many other mercenaries in the town, these few had come from Luskan. Unlike the others, their journeys would take them far beyond the rude palisades and bloody fields that lay ahead of them. Here we are. Well, here you are, straight from Bremen to the scenic shore of Targus. Herself. I dislike Irish sounding men. Now that you'll be seeing the right. skeleton of a town you'll be defending, you sure you don't want me to take you back? Skeleton of a town? Aye. You see those wrecked homes along the shore? Well, the ones the goblins didn't tear down, the people at Targos did. They're building a wall around the town, and they need all the lumber they can get. They need a city beneath Damn the sea. Wall won't keep the wind on, much less goblins, by my tell. Eh, well, I spend most of my time on the floor of the salty dog when I stay the night in Targos, which isn't often. With all the mercenary bands holed up in Targos, there may not be a place in town for you to rest. If the local inn can't put you up, just come back to the ship and I can spare a bunk or two for you to sleep on. Well, your charity does you credit to an extent. Or if you want, you could probably slip into one of the abandoned warehouses to catch some shot eye. God knows I have after a long night at the Salty Dog. Where can it's I just find a Salty dog. dog Tavern? Step a yard or two to your left and you'll be at the dog's door. Just watch your step in there. Not right away. We've got cargo to unload, so you might not be saying the last of me just yet. Besides, you still might have a change of heart once you head up the cliff and see Targos for yourself. I like your optimism. Aye. The cargo that's standing here talking at me right now. Oh, aren't you Get an intelligent you. man? If you be seeking your fortunes, you won't be finding it on the decks of the Wicked Wench. Well, you'd want to be saying the lord of this place. Albrecht's his name. Good enough fella. For a lord. Where can I find this Lord Ulbrecht? No lords or kings or gods, aren't there? Scare anyone? the cliffs to the main town. He's bound to be in one of the manors up there. Snag one of the locals. They can guide you better than I could. Thank you for your oh, help. You can thank me by not Remember charities for the week. orders and coming back in one piece. As guests go, you've been saints aboard my ship. I got a place for you if you ever be needing it. Town seems a might quiet, though. And Magdar, the harbour master, hasn't come to try and bleed a few coins from me for a docking fee. Watch yourself. Could be trouble in the wind. No, that's just Flash Gordon. Okay, let's change our... Good God, Andrew Ryan only has two hit points. That That is uh, dreadful. Well, we've got to change our formation then so that Andrew Ryan ends up in the middle of the group. No, no, he still seems to be at the front. Okay, so how do I change this? Ah, solid. You know what? We'll, we'll leave it as it is for now. Alt, who goes there? Step forward and identify yourself. Hi, we're from Earth. Friends. I'm Flash Gordon. What happened here? What happened? The Golden Raiders in town is what happened. Now get back to your ship. We've tracked down most of the little bastards, but there's still a band northeast of the docks, and there may be others about. We've come from Luskan to aid Targos. Perhaps we can help you stop these raiders. You? Look, just get back to your ship. We don't need any more blood spilled. But But we, we need help. Drone's dead, your hurt, and we haven't even heard from the other soldiers. We don't even know how many goblins made it inside the war. Damn it all! All oh, right, we need all the swords we can get. But by the hell, drop those pieces of firewood and grab some real weapons before you commit yourselves. There's plenty of goblin axes and shields scattered about, and here's a blade I can spare. Take it, I can't use it my arm the way it is. Well, you're going to have to throw it at me at the distance you're at. Thanks for the blade, but we could also use some armor if we're going to be hunting goblins. You're right, here, take my leather jerkin. It probably won't stop a goblin's axe, but it may turn aside a knife or arrow. We could also do with some underwear and maybe your dignity. 
I mean, no disrespect, but we could also use any of the equipment your fallen comrade Brone had, if any. You, you're right again. Here you are, then. Take them. Brone will get no more use of them. Uh. What's wrong with your arm? Goblin axe took a bite out of it, but I'm better off than Brone here. Poor bastard took a goblin arrow to the knee. Your arm looks in pretty bad shape. Your bandages are almost soaked through. You know, I've not made a Skyrim joke like that. I've never once referenced the arrow to the knee, and now I feel sick. Well, I'll see whether I can find Magda for his healing draft. Oh, I'm a, I'm a paladin. I may be able to use my healing magics to help your arm. You're a healer! Looks like Timor is taking pity on us at last. If you have any magic that would help, I'll be grateful. Let me see what I can do. How can I? It shall be done. Alas, poor Brown, I knew him, Horatio. That's not it. How do I cast a spell? Oh my god, that's ridiculous, isn't it? How does Flash Gordon cast spells? Awful! My arm's better, thanks for your help. Looks like you're praying to the right gods. The wound's closed, but there may be more damage. You still don't look too good. I could use that healing draft from Magdar if you can find him. Hope the goblins haven't got him yet. Let me see what I can do. I am needed. I shall not fail. Where's Andrew Ryan gone? Is he busy just building a city or something? Need to differentiate. There's Ted, there's John. No idea where those goblins came from. One moment we're stepping out of the salty dog and suddenly there's a mess of them running through town. We sounded the alarm, but... One of them nearly fell right with an axe. Poor Brown here wasn't as lucky. Arrow went right through his neck. Didn't even have a chance. Do you have an extra blade you can spare? I have a spare dagger I can power with, but that's about it. Take it, you're bound to come across the goblin sooner than I. It'll do. Hmm. Alright, so what, what do we have? We have a dagger. Andrew Ryan can keep that. Ah, well, the short swords are probably going to be slightly better than the quarter staff, but we'll keep it, we'll keep it. The leather jerkin as well. Uh, there's a hand axe. You know what, the short sword could probably go to someone again who could use it better. Well, we'll give the hand axe to him. We'll stick the helmet on Flash as well. John Locke, the druid, can have the leather jerkin. Poppy the Ranger, actually. Speaking of which, yes, yeah, Solid the Ranger can get the jerk and he's going to be in more fights. Short Sword can go to Ted the Rogue. And I think that nicely separates it for now. Just in case the quarter staff breaks on you, Poppy. There you go. Onwards! In! In we go! Oh, is this, is this your house? Your no victory. Most. Well, this is a pitiful display of combat here. I'm not even sure that Andrew Ryan should have really been in the middle of the fray there. Yeah, we should have asked them first uh, whether this was their house before we killed them, whether that guy's just sleeping on the floor. But you know what? Finders keepers. A man chooses. A man takes gold. A slave takes copper. Ted! Mm -hmm. Get your roguing skills over here. Roguery. Where are you? Okay. Undo that. What? Unlock it, for fuck's sake. Thieving. Thieve! Alright, Flash. Can very well. Ted isn't really proving his worth. There, we've successfully forced the lock open. Yeah. Okay. When in yes. doubt... Any time. Speak your mind. No, that's a bit better. Of course. If these people can't give us a, you know, safety or anything like that, at the very least, we can take from them their material wealth. Hang on. Have I got my classes mixed up? I have. Ted's the cleric. Ted. Ted's the cleric. The train driver is the rogue. Silly me, silly, silly me. Well, we shouldn't have given the sword to the cleric now, should we? I can't remember the rules in 3.5 when it comes to clerics. And no, we'll give, he can dual wield quartz staffs. Let's go to work. Oh, should I that be quartz staves? 
And then we'll take on this goblin I saw in the top left corner of the screen. And because I haven't programmed scripting... I, we go. And you know what next? Before I call it yeah, a day time. on this particular Let's Play, just in case you ever want to watch more of it, we're going to find a goblin to throw a spell at. Come on, Andrew Ryan. You can find a goblin. Um, oh no, 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 that's not what we wanted. We want Chromatic Orb in there, we want Charm Person in there. There you go, I remember how to assign these quick keys. Easy. I don't know who you are, but I'm not interested just yet. I can hear a hubbub and a hullabaloo. Oh, there's hardly any. Oh, there's a goblin. Oh, God, there's two goblins. Quick, Andrew Ryan! Charm him! Charm him with your words! And now, kill him! <laughs> Andrew Ryan's alignment goes down to neutral evil. And that, while may may not may, it may not be as effective necessarily as holds person charming someone and then shooting a chromatic orb in their face, does the job. What needs to be done? And that being the message that we will leave for tonight, I thank you very much for watching.